so hell and wet hip. Oh, oh god. god. Alright, oh. hold on. <laughs> hold on a Try second. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Right. Hey, what's up? Hi, hell and wet met travelers. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you found it. I found <laughs> Did the goods. Did, did you pop there. in and out of Discord there? <laughs> I closed. <laughs> Yes. Uh, okay, I was very I scared. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, women, travelers. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. It's been a month. No, it's been two weeks. <laughs> there it is. Also does not understand time. <laughs> it's been one month. Two weeks. <sighs> Give or take. It's been two weeks, I know, take. because I've been counting, because it's been my damn it's fault. take. <laughs> Cancer's take, but <laughs> it's it's been one month. It's been a while. I didn't rewatch um the last episode, so this is gonna be a little bit bumpy. Last time on Dungeons and Dragons, whoa. what did we do, guys? <laughs> Shopped in Sandellos. We went to the last time Rizlon, or no? Rizlon. We opened Pretty with sure Rizlon and Reverence. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I super kissed Rizlon yeah. a couple times. And then you woke up Merritt to tell him about it, and, and I love these besties. Uh, uh, it's nine. There he is. Uh, those are the only important things. Oh, like fuck. Just Jesse, do a you're talk. We don't. Mike is a uh, not fuck then. Well, uh, that's cool. Oh boy. Stick around for the recap and then restart real fast. Or, oh, oh I mean. This thing. Hello. May as well. Nope. It's first for the recap right. and not nope. miss anything new. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello? Could you not good? hear you guys. Ah. Oh. Uh. That un understandable. Have a nice day. Uh, all you missed is a brief bit of recap, which was Revlon, Team Virtue, slightly. And shopping, nine. and then shopping at Zendelo's, which led to the spine, but we don't call it that. It is the snine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the discovery of what the snine does. Uh, I've taken over the recap. This is this is me now. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, Arthur, new DM. Well, I no, guess I'll just... Do um, no. I'll just... Uh, no. <laughs> no. Guess I'll just... I have my own. I don't need to. I have a one-shot and I barely planned it. Guess I'll just leave. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Pen sent a letter, maybe? Somewhere? No, that didn't happen. Yes, Pen it did. Pen sent a letter, but none of you know about that, so... Well, no, we don't. Except we, the players, we do. Because we nope. forced um, Benji to do it. <laughs> you don't remember nope, that. Nope, you, KR. You don't know. <laughs> KR, you just don't know. Fight me. You don't know. I, as a person, do. Fight me. Anyway. No, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, you do not. It's been two weeks, and yes, I do, damn it. I've been and blacked you. You don't remember. <sighs> nah. Um. The script for this nine was. Mm. Noah and Reverence made a deal with this nine. Yeah. Noah and Reverence are, like, friend adjacent. For, yeah. yeah. Acquaintance? That, that, that happened. <laughs> Acquaintance. Merit was proud. Acquaintance. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he was open to giving references, like, lessons for how to wield it. Use a long, wield a long, what was it, a long sword? Yeah. Long sword. Yeah. Scythe. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, so, yeah. you can at least be proficient with that one roll that you need to make. And then we. I think we're just uh, gonna end it at. Yeah. I think we ended there because uh, we were all tired and it was rough. Mm. <laughs> and then we were like, "Well, we'll just start out, you know, going from geos or so on." But actually, we are skipping the trip itself and just no, starting. No. Okay, well, I guess you are the DM, so uh, I'll... Well, I'll no, just what happens again. next, KR? <laughs> That's what you said, yeah, yeah, That's what what you said last week before hey, KR. I was post... I damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, we're... We're definitely not gonna, like, 
We're gonna breeze through it, hopefully. God, I hope so. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find out. Only 15 minutes till 1 a.m. for some of you and midnight for some of us. It's fine. It's all good. So yeah, we're mostly caught up on Dungeons and Dragons. It's been a bit. It's been a grip. So. Um... After uh, you've all gathered the materials you want, you know, I imagine you do some additional shopping beyond Zendelo's of like gathering general supplies and needing whatever you want. Um, mm -hmm. You go and find Geo and be like, "Hey, it's it's time to ship off. Here we go." And um, everyone is coming with you, I believe. Rizlon is coming with you, and yeah. Thalia didn't we... give you an answer, really. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we invited her, and, uh, I mean, as we leave, we probably are like, Hey, Margaret, company, we're, we're heading out. Peace. <laughs> so they at least know where we're going. Yeah, Margaret, um, you tell Margaret, like, hey, we're going to another continent, and Margaret's like, oh, hey, I know, have fun, go. don't die. <laughs> and, um, you're like, oh, you know, but you're already leaving, so... <laughs> And, um, Thalia decides to not join you. Okay. I can't imagine the hell she'd put herself through being in a hot place in armor. Anyway. She'd do it. <laughs> I God, mean, she probably she... has, but would she, if she had a choice? Anyway. Yeah. So, um, only accompanying you is Rizlon. That's all we need. <laughs> That's all we need? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm alright I'm all right with that. We all know you are. That's yeah. my boyfriend. It sure is. <laughs> and your phone background. Mm -hmm. That's Siren's say, boyfriend. And your phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's Siren's real life boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Right. Um, yeah, you all find Geo easily. He's waiting for you at the docks. And um, when you come up, he is as excited as usual and like gives you all a good greeting and a hug. Says hi, <laughs> good morning, hello, <laughs> how's it going? Hey, I love you. Hi. <laughs> hey. Um, and you all get on board. The whole crew is there, including Matt Merritt. And um, you know, you you avoid eye contact. Avoid. <laughs> you do, you do the routine. Matt does not seem to. Pay much attention to you. Um, and yeah, without much problem, you set off. It's um, it's pretty early when you set off. I want to say it's even like only dawn, probably. I'm and um, point. yeah. And you go. Noom. Noom. <laughs> Above water or underwater? Um, above water right now. Fine. <laughs> I mean, you can always ask uh, Geo's itinerary. <laughs> hey, we doing this whole thing normal? Hey, does this cruise ship have um a schedule? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Reverend says something to prove to her, her boyfriend. <laughs> God, play! <laughs> yeah, Rizlon is so far um, impressed with the ship. It's a nice ship, but also like, hey, this ship doesn't go underwater. What the <laughs> fuck? Reverend <laughs> fucking goes to Geo and grabs him by the shoulders and begs. Please <laughs> take it underwater. I have to. Please. Roll a persuasion check. God fucking mm. yeah. it. Hold on. I gotta pay him a mouth. You sure do. Please be good. What? Oh no. my god! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's rough. <laughs> what? You, you go First over to Geo, and you grab him by the shoulders and physically lift him, <laughs> and your grip on him is so strong. Oh no! And your claws are digging into his shoulders. No, I don't want to hurt him. And he no. just goes, oh. <laughs> Don't let me hurt him. You roll 
killed in that one. <laughs> so upset. And he goes, oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, you're scary still. All right. <laughs> no, no. We're going underwater. Oh, <laughs> so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> She goes, oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just very <laughs> quietly. Jill, like, shakes it off easily and goes, Is, no, no problem, I did just, you, uh, just, okay. And he starts walking away and, like, rubbing his shoulder a little bit. Charlie <laughs> just, just kind of softly says after him, I just really need to prove that I'm not completely crazy. <laughs> not completely. Just not entirely crazy. Just a little bit. I mean, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Strong night. That's fun. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, you spend the rest of the day, you know, like, doing whatever you want among the ship. Like, the ship is well prepared to sail and set off, so there's not a ton that needs doing right now. Um... Like, everything's maintenance, everything's, like, A-OK. -okay. Even, like, Narar is spending time above deck, so you're like, oh, shit, this is a cruise. <laughs> How's Carl? And, um... Hmm? How's Carl? Carl is good. Carl's a lot better than, like, the last time you went on an adventure with them. <laughs> Bless. Yeah, that, that entered rough for a lot. <laughs> And yeah, Carl, like, makes small talk with all of you, like, has... Acknowledges, hey, you, you're good people and friends and you saved my life, so, you know, what's up? Hey, how's it going? What's good? <laughs> uh, Luce is exclusively piloting the ship, so you do not see much of her, other than, like, an occasional, like, wave through the window when you meet eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> Nor, actually, you've never seen the ship, so let's go onto the map with the ship on it. I was just about to link it in Discord, but yeah. <laughs> or at least, like, the... Just, like, a recap of who everyone is. <laughs> Let me just click onto this map before I just drag you on, just to go see and what it is ignore on ignore that one... I mean, I think Jess was here on the return trip, weren't they? Oh, yeah. But it's been a while since we've seen them all, also. Yeah, it's so, like, been a while. names to faces. Mm. Not Jess including was Remy. here. Okay. Fuck off, Remy, you fucking turd monster. I love him. Bring Remy <laughs> back. No. GK17. Bring back no. Remy. 2017. <laughs> Alright, come here. here we go. Bring it back mustache, so bro. Uh, I can kill him with my bare hands. Get rid. Disperse of him. We were Spread gonna be best out. friends. <laughs> Zoom. Oh. <laughs> As it rightfully should be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is perfect. Nor, have you ever been on a boat before? No, you remember. To your memory. I don't think he has. He's yeah, just been traveling um, on foot, just not even con- okay. Sorry. This is... I mean, you you know what a boat is, like... Just, we're not gonna be like, oh fuck, you don't know what a boat is! <laughs> no, he knows what a boat is. <laughs> you know what a boat is, is. like, yeah. You, you know the concept, you got it! You've seen boats, you know, you've been around boats. This is prob- this is, to your knowledge, the first time that you've been on a boat. And, um, it's, uh, roll a constitution check? <laughs> oh, no! Where's your the bucket? Turn, bitch! <laughs> Where's the bucket? No one told the crew! <laughs> Oh, All right. <laughs> That's... Hold That's on. a little weird. Your turn, bitch! <laughs> what happened there? Oh. One plus one! One plus two. one equals two. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Nor? There you are, you fucking slippery bastard. Let me go check that out real fast. <laughs> Get by with another one. Nope. Ah, hold on. Your sheet needs to be fixed. Let me fix that for you. Okay. <laughs> uh... Do you have jack of all trades? All bards do? 
Mm -hmm. Past a certain level. Fast. I don't think you do have it right now. Um. <laughs> Mm, I don't know why that one plus one is there, but uh, yeah, whatever. So roll the four. Traits. So like, it's not great. Oh no. <laughs> um, the ship is—it's a very nice ship. It's well made. You know, like the wood is beautiful. It's just—it's a—it's genuinely like a beautiful ship. This is like, an expensive, nice ship, and um, you're about to puke all over. <laughs> <laughs> You're you're like um you're leaning over the bow and just kind of taking in the waves and the wind and it feels it feels nice you know you've never done this before and it's probably something you've thought about doing before but never really had a reason to and now you're just kind of going to another continent and that's probably a little weird and you're thinking about that and suddenly this wave <laughs> of unsteadiness just kind of brings you to your knees and you sit your ass down on that deck. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and, um, you don't feel sick yet, but you just really, you do feel kind of dizzy and, like, unsteady, and the world is moving, and so oh. are you, and oh, you're no. just kind of gripping onto the deck now. <laughs> And I'd like everyone else to make a perception check to see if they notice this. Help my boy. I really want to, but will I? I hope. Only yes. God can answer us now. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. oh. You sit down and Noah's head whips around. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, Reverence and. <laughs> Reverence and Mary, you do notice too, but Noah is the first one to be like, oh, oh no. Yeah, he, <laughs> he runs over there. <laughs> and he. He kind of picks uh, Nora up on his shoulder. It's bad. Mm. <laughs> I don't think you should pick him up. <laughs> Sets him back down after he starts making noises. <laughs> you okay, buddy? You, you good? You need to rock it? Robins! No! Somebody grab the bucket! <laughs> Mary has just, just been cackling. <laughs> No. Mary, yes, she Matt, start going up to one of the one of the crew members and goes, "Uh, we Carl is we already coming with the bucket." bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Mary walks towards the scene that is happening, in which case, and Carl, <laughs> Carl walks over to you, Nora, and um, just like makes eye contact with you once before Nora setting the bucket down. <laughs> Carl just like sets the bucket down next to you and very quickly walks away and says good luck this is the most embarrassing thing Nora have ever <laughs> reverence is laughing so hard no it's like, gonna be okay nor puts we've all gone in the through this a little bit <laughs> oh, no. just stay strong buddy <laughs> Goes up to her and very gingerly pats him on the back and simply is like, "I'm so sorry. It it'll it'll you'll get used to it in a little bit, pro probably." Mm. All right. Um, oh. And he backs away slowly. <laughs> mm, yeah, no, it kind of gets up. <laughs> like, good luck. If you need anything, just holler. <laughs> Wait. Just start Screaming and barfing. <laughs> no. Don't do anything. Don't ask me. <laughs> That's oof. <laughs> yeah. Um, you don't. You're not going to barf right now. But yeah, you don't. You don't feel great. So we'll just put that in the back pocket. <laughs> Hold right on now, to that bucket. Right now, that bucket is your friend, as in like it is your, <laughs> it is your comfort buddy. You're just holding on to it. <laughs> 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 so, so yeah, just wait. 
Um, if any of you would like to have an interaction with the crew on the first day, like, just chat out. Otherwise, I'm gonna, like, I'm basically gonna speed through this, so if you're like, oh, shit, I wanna, I wanna have this conversation, I wanna do this thing, we'll just be like, go for it. <laughs> no. Not on the first day, but, like, <sighs> among the small talk, Merit might, uh, mention it to you. Oh, yeah, by the way, the hunt that happened, and, but that's, like, <laughs> just telling the story. <laughs> Yeah. As promised a, among this trip. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the first day passes um, relatively uneventful for most of you. <laughs> hmm. And um, <clears throat> by the end... Do uh, we even try to peel Nor off the deck so he can go eat? Or that's, that's just a bad idea, isn't it? <laughs> do you let them, Nor? If they want to... I mean, if you guys want to touch him? I mean, like, as, as, like, like, as, like, dinner starts happening, where it's like, I don't know if you want to try to eat anything, but if you want, just come along and not just be here on the deck and tries to, like, pull Nora up gently. <laughs> <laughs> like a ticking time bomb. <laughs> But yeah, and helps helps snore up, so he's not just there. <laughs> yeah, oh. and take some at least lower deck. <laughs> Still with the bucket. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But yeah, then sits him somewhere in the hall. <laughs> Reverence knows what this is like. And goes nowhere near Nor. <laughs> oh no. I mean, she was the one that specifically suffered this. <sighs> the rest of us. It was pre-game. <laughs> we probably had this problem. Anyway. Yeah. So yeah, uh, the day passes. You all gather towards the end of the day. Most likely um, around sunset. To eat dinner together in the sort of mess hall below deck. Uh, Nor roll another constitution check. Oh, please. Oh, no! Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Is it... I just want to make sure that, uh, it's not broken real fast. Nope. It's, it's rolling normal. You just rolled two sixes. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Very What's nice. with the plus ones, though? I really don't know. I don't know where that's okay. coming from. Yeah, because I... Hmm. I wonder if I make Merit? Yeah. Merit's fine. Well... Um, huh. On the settings page, there's, like, bonuses to different abilities. Is there a plus one in something there? No, there's just, there's nothing in any of the stats. Hmm. They haven't been touched. Weird. Which is, is it why just... it's weird. Did you roll those other ones as Rizlon? No, I'm. Those are as Nor. Huh. Well, I was asking because I was wondering if Jack of all trades was being super weird, but I mean, we at least know it's all of yours. Hold on. Oh. All of your stats are plus one. What the heck? Huh. That's fun. My chat is also angry at me. Oh, you know how you roll over um, the the things, and it tells you. Yeah. How you? One of those has just popped up for me forever, even when I close chat out. Well, that's rough. Mm. Um, it's, I'm it's, so sorry. It's not the biggest deal, but it's just it's a thing now. My shit's normal. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why... I mean, you rolled the first of the night, and that... That didn't have plus ones. It's weird. Anyway, I mean... So as I mean, long it's as not you that big know... of a deal. It's just... Yeah, as long as we're aware of... Or at least you are, and Jess, are aware of the actual constitution bonus Nor has, we're fine. Or not even constitution, but everything else. Just that plus one is fine. It's a friend. 
He needs one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a plus one to everything, so, uh, whatever. Uh, another six. Um, you don't feel well enough to eat. You still don't feel necessarily barfy, but it's not great. <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah, you just kind of sit there without eating. Set a small plate of crackers in front of him, just in case, but... <laughs> And yeah, uh, the day passes, and you all had to sleep for the night, and you are all asleep, mostly, by the time it happens, but at midnight, um, the ship goes underwater and turns into a storm. I was gonna say, um, Merritt actually stays up a little later, like, throughout the day and into the evening, he reads that book on Seiko, and just is over the course of this he gets more and more just antsy <laughs> um roll slightly. a history check for me okay mm, good old zero hold on change that uh history public normal oh yeah. god oh. Mm. All right. You cannot oh. focus on this book. Um, you you just keep rereading. You forget everything about no. Uh, yeah, you just keep rereading the same sentence over and over again, and like getting very lost. And then you're like, "Fuck it!" And you just kind of put the book down and walk away. <laughs> so it's, it's particularly antsy <laughs> this particular time. <sighs> okay. And, um, you pace the deck, and, um, this is actually, we'll say it's past midnight at this point, so you come above deck to, like, you know, get a, get some fresh air, pace around, and you come up and like, oh shit, we're underwater, cool, uh, oh, this is, okay? <laughs> and, and he still paces, but slightly yeah. disappointed. <laughs> yeah, um, and you sort of watch the water above you and it's it's peaceful and calming enough that you kind of settles you down and you end up kind of sitting in front of the window and then before you realize it falling asleep on the deck oh <laughs> <laughs> and the next morning you don't remember where you put your book ah uh, oh no uh, uh. you would have been in his room delta no you look in your room and it's not there. So, uh, yeah. Um, the next morning you all come up and see that we have begun the underwater portion of the travel. Reverence just fucking goes up to Rizlan and fucking throws her arms out. Like, gesturing to what's happening. Rizlan comes above deck in the morning, looks up, and then turns around and goes back to the mess. <laughs> Whenever he feels ready to talk about it. <laughs> Reverence gloats. Just... And revels in the fact that she's not crazy. <laughs> oh, ship. Boat noises. Yeah, they've been going, they've just been really quiet, so I just added them a little bit. <laughs> God, can... <laughs> Mary just find his book? Um, Please! Roll... Investigation. God. It's also intelligence-based. Oh my god! Oh my, <laughs> my god! god. <laughs> hmm... Oh, Merit. Oh, please? my boy. You get half the crew involved in, no! in this book hunt, and um, I'm just you look to everywhere see and just cannot find the book. I'm rolling this pre purely to see if I'm cursed or something's wrong in the system. Okay. Nope. You're <laughs> fucking cursed. Good rolls that today, guys. That persuasion right there is mocking me. It's Does... two ones, but it's an eleven. 
does Noah like notice that like everybody trying to look around for the book? Or at least maybe... Yeah, I imagine you're part of this. Okay. And he uh, did. I do remember maybe even be one of the first persons that Barrett would go to. Quite possibly. <laughs> Being a ranger and almost a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, at least, like, half of, the, half of the ship, not just the crew. <laughs> yeah. For some just, reason... Yeah, I, I said crew, but I, in, I meant everyone. Yeah. But, yeah, if Merritt, Merritt would have been... Would have gone to, like, Noah and Reverence and... Because he definitely showed those two the book. And would have been like... I, I lost... That, that thick tome about Seiko, can you help me find it? Oh, Jess. I don't know where like, it went! How the fuck? Oh, Jess? Oh, Jess, you good? Jess? Uh-oh. Uh, Jess? I can't believe Nor got so sick. <laughs> Nor got so sick, he just dropped from the ship and died. <laughs> no! <laughs> Went to water, that's pretty bad. Pain hasn't cast <laughs> water breathing on us yet. Actually, they have. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fuck it, doodle do. <laughs> Word. Yeah? <laughs> big ass nice. mood. It's a big mood. Fuck a doodle do. <laughs> Add those two nat ones. Hello? Hi. Hello? I'm back. Hello? Just okay. close crashing and not even wanting to respond. I'm yes. back. Okay, hi. How much did you miss? Um, the cr like, getting the crew to, like, look for the book. Yeah. Oh, that's not much. Yeah. That's, that's not very much. We, we just started talking about who Merritt specifically went up to, which included some of the party members. No yeah. Evidence, so. I was gonna ask if I could roll investigation, but I imagine that Nat 1 conquers all. <laughs> I mean, roll, least, like, roll an investigation advantage. for me, and we'll see. Okay. <sighs> I was gonna say if if my nat one affects it, then I would say disadvantage. But like, we'll find out. I'll it's say there's to a search because Merit's hanging yeah. onto your arm. There's a number. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Merritt comes to you, and do you? He's barely talking. He's just like, "I believe that book is gone." And um, you're like, "Okay, all right, Merritt." Just pat him on the head, like, "Okay, all right, sweetie." <laughs> and um. You know, everyone else is like, hey, can you, can you help out, I guess? Because he's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> Merritt's almost in tears. <laughs> he's not, he is distressed, dying. I'll give you that. <laughs> and, um, you, you give everything, like, with everyone else, you give everyone a, a good investigation. And you find it, like, you do find it. You find it, um... Below deck, in fuck? like, <laughs> in like the back corner of one of the storage rooms on a barrel, <laughs> <laughs> and you find it, and you just kind of show it to Mary, and you're like, "What the fuck?" What mess? <laughs> and he goes, "I don't know." <laughs> Did you get something to drink on this boat? If so, where the fuck is it? <laughs> I don't think so. Cause I holy shit, how did you forget it. about this? And how did it end up in the back of I, God. I, I went through the halls, but I didn't think I went this far through the ship. Oh. Well, here you go, Merritt. Thank you. He kind of nods, says, I'll see you later. <laughs> Nice. Have fun with your book. Let's try not to lose it again. Yep. Right. And 
it goes back <laughs> up deck. <laughs> Yeah. It confirms. We found it in a weird place. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't don't worry. Don't worry about don't it. Worry it's about good. It. Don't yep. ask. <laughs> yep, Noah doesn't worry about telling anybody. He's just gonna let that go. <laughs> yeah. So crisis averted. Evaded, yeah. yeah. Um, nor roll another constitution for me. Hmm? Mm hmm. Yay. Alright. Yes. <laughs> Better than a six. Um, so, number one, this ship is crazy. <laughs> You've heard about ships, and you're pretty sure they don't do this? <laughs> um, and being underwater is terrifying and new. And it fills you with this weird sense of dread that you can't quite remember something. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Don't you doing this? I see. I see you. Okay. <laughs> I see you, honey. And it makes you extremely uncomfortable for a few minutes before you notice that um, your dizziness is lifting, and it's easier to be on deck here. Like, um, you there's no sense of like movement like there was on top of the deck where the waves were pushing and pulling the ship. Here it's. It's much more steady and stable and smooth as it like glides under the water. It's there's not really any problems besides like occasionally there'd be a little bit of turbulence, but it's nothing like um, being above deck. And that kind of settles you down a little bit, and you feel like okay enough to eat now. So you go have a good time and eat some food, and you're like okay, I'm I'm a person again. <laughs> Um, you keep that bucket because you don't feel a hundred percent yet, but <laughs> you're better. <laughs> hmm. God, he's freaking out though. Yeah. It's underwater, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Underwater, y'all. And th yeah, this Reverse is... is just fucking like I told you. <laughs> I guess. God. Apparently, I feel like. Did you tell us it? flew too because airships <laughs> he sure fucking did yeah i don't remember if he told someone specifically he flew. told reverence yeah okay never mind i don't think everyone knows that it flies reverence knows it flies but she has not said anything because jesus christ everyone always and by everyone i mean rizlon already thinks she's nuts <laughs> that's fair i just i couldn't remember i remember it was said i couldn't remember where yeah. But yeah, so. It's like, yep, this, this is what happens. Welcome, welcome to Geo's ship. Geo also um, introduces himself to you, Noor. I imagine he did this on the first day and I forgot. Yeah. But like, he introduces him I mean, to him, like, very prop, like, all the way. Like, before you, you, you knew him, but now it's like. It is such a pleasure to meet you. You are uh, I'm any friend of these guys is a friend of mine. You are welcome. Anytime. My name is Geo Fulis. I'm just such a big fan already. I already know I'm terrified of you. I'm such a good friend. I'm so glad to meet you. You're such a good person. I love you. And he's shaking your hand very vigorously. I love him so much. God. What a good guy. Oh, God. Moore's freaking out for a little. He's sweating. <laughs> Jot that down. <laughs> Jot that one down. Oh, God. He's like mouthing, doesn't know what to say. He's like, ah, <laughs> ah, ah. Oh. Ah. Right. <laughs> yeah, Geo plows through it, keeps talking, introduces himself, <laughs> and everyone on the ship just does not shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> you're like mouthing to the others, like, what do I fucking do? And everyone just kind of like smiling at you. <laughs> Smiles and shrugs, and it's just like, that's Geo. <laughs> And Geo drags you around the ship and is like, I made the ship entirely on my own. I don't know if you noticed. And uh, I'm a bit of an inventor of myself, and I just kind of like making things. And I don't, I know the others know this, but this ship's a little bit special. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? 
Hello? Hello? You good? Did you catch? What? I hate everything. <laughs> oh. It's Gio rambling about being an inventor. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. you guys heard last from me. Um. That Nor was like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gio just being so Gio. <laughs> Nor like mouthing to the others, I don't know what to do. Oh, I said more of that. Oh, oh. damn it, this card, oh, I fuck. hate it. It's not important. Oh. Yes, it is. Say it again. I mean, just mouthing, stuttering, and saying hi, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um. I said, Geo introduces you to everyone and like drags you around the ship and basically gives you like a small tour. <laughs> this is like, I built the whole thing. I like making things. Ship yeah. and picker is special. <laughs> Very I'll, much faster than that. I'm not even going to try to do a Geo impression. That's it. <laughs> no, nope, that's all you get. Dang it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so Geo like, thoroughly acquaintances himself with you. <laughs> He's already said I love you. <laughs> oh, no. God, no sweating. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, yeah, you... You are familiar with Geo now. Oh, you dropped from the thing. <laughs> Huh? From roll, roll 20. 20. Roll 20 is angry at you. That's nice. That's very nice. I mean, I can keep talking as long That's as you're That's fine, go it. ahead. Yeah, I mean, um, it's mostly all audio here, you're just... Yeah. And, um, on the second day, when, um, you come up here and you're feeling better, and you're like, Oh shit, I'm underwater and this sucks! <laughs> <laughs> um, Geo, pretty oblivious to this mood you're putting out, is just like, Hey! You get to see the new thing! I haven't shown you yet! Oh man! Your mic hated that for a solid moment. Mm. <laughs> My ears hated it, so. I'm sorry, I'm on the phone right comment. now. I'm using a phone. Ah. Hmm. It looked like my computer's not getting any internet connection because I'm sure playing that dinosaur game. Ah! Oh! <laughs> nice! Nice! <laughs> I mean, it's a fun game, but ooh. I'm not I... having a fun time. I don't know why, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's cool. Again, it's, oh. it is mostly audio, but oh. I'm restarting, so keep talking. Okay. So yeah, uh, Geo asks you what you think of being underwater. Uh, uh, it's... Alright, I guess. This one wanna hurt his feelings. She was looking at you so excited, like the big eyes, oh, no. and like gr giving you like an expectant grin. Uh, it's good. <laughs> big man. <laughs> this is fine. It's In water. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, he he. No, you say it's water, and he's like, "Yeah." <laughs> Anxiety. <laughs> Wait, how dark is like the water? Um, you're not deep, deep underwater. Like, there's plenty of light coming through. In fact, I'd say like, you can see the surface fine. Okay. Um, I always bad. imagine uh, those like underwater th those walk through aquarium tunnels. Uh, uh, yeah, kinda. that's kind of what I imagine, but maybe it's less a bit deeper. Life, yeah. 
and you're not go yeah there's no like coral reefs are immediately around and you can't yeah you can't see directly downwards from the deck um so that's not worrying <laughs> okay but yeah for the most part you like when you look out it's pretty much open ocean mm. That's so by. scary. Yeah. That's Do we hear a thunk every once in a while when a fish hits? <laughs> <laughs> fish are pretty good at avoiding things. Okay. <laughs> I just, I, I was just thinking of like bugs on a windshield. I had to ask. Anyway, now they got it. They're good. Fish, fish got it. Yeah, I know. There's uh, for the most part the like any fish or schools of fish that like come into your vision like part very giving the boat a huge margin just like what the fuck is that thing <laughs> that's the biggest weirdest fish I've seen yet <laughs> God. so uh yeah god anxiety is all the way up I'm pretty yeah up to 11 <laughs> Geo, um, once you sort of like hesitantly answer, Geo goes back to like talking for the most part, and it's he doesn't um force you to like hold his hand or anything anymore. He he just kind of like looks at the ship and starts like explaining how things are, and it goes all over your head. Like it, none of it makes sense to you at all. There's a lot of words that you didn't actually think were words. <laughs> No, I'm dumb as fuck, boy. And he's pointing to the glass, and um, he explains to you that it's not glass, it's something else, but you don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of worrying as well. It's like, oh, what the? It's not glass? There goes a barf! <laughs> But yeah, um, his back is basically turned to you, and you could leave if you wanted to. Pull a merit versus Norar. I don't think he would leave. I think he's stuck there now. <laughs> oh, same. Frozen in anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. So you... You spend the entire day listening to Geo <laughs> explain the entire <laughs> ship. Oh, and God, I love Gio. Gio is very good. The only time he pauses for breath is when someone goes up and goes, Hey, Gio, it's time to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. As, like, oh, someone... No. Carl comes like, Oh, hey, guys, it's it's dinner time. Food has been made. And you're like, Oh, thank God. I Relief. And Gio goes, Oh, okay! And just follows you below deck, like, talking the entire time. Oh my and god. And you all sit down at dinner, and Gio is still explaining, and you all listen to this, and it's... None of it makes sense. At this point, he's getting into the specifics of the engine, and he's probably the most excited about this. Like, his eyes oh are lighting up, god. and he's, like, very expressive, and Narar kind of, like, nods sometimes over his meal. And it's just, like... All of it is gone, and you're all just kind of like, ah, okay, Geo, all right, just keep eating food. Oh my god! Actually, anytime Noah is around Geo and he is like explaining any of the stuff, Noah is probably going to try to be as attentive as possible. Noah's taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> Still Noah's... not understanding it quite, <laughs> but he's trying. Because he's yeah. interested. Yeah. I mean, this is vaguely up your alley enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, As I she mean, explains. The, uh, the engines, Merritt's getting brief flashbacks to when he went into the engine room at one point and <laughs> Norar started talking, but he can't escape this. So Merritt nods politely, sort of like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just, being polite about it, but it's going over his head entirely. Yeah. Oh, waves, oh, waves. Reverence uh, genuinely listens um, because Gio's so excited and happy and she loves him. 
but it's it's just like the words are passing through her brain and like dripping out the other side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it becomes it comes to a point where it's it's basically white noise. <laughs> um Where it's at Noah, least excited for Geo, but <laughs> Yeah, you're all like you wanna pay attention and understand this, but it's just it's Oh god, so can you not? <laughs> Noah, you are the only one who really, like, holds- it holds your attention, because you're really trying to. Um, I think at the end of the meeting, like, other conversations have, like, sprouted up, and Geo's kind of zoomed in on you as you're still, like, nodding enthusiastically along with him, like, yeah, yeah, I understand, and you're just, like, on the inside, like, I don't fucking know what he's saying at all. (laughs) I didn't study for this. (laughs) So Gio at this point is like making eye contact with you and speaking at you then now and like still talking exclusively about like the mechanics of how this ship works and like all of these other things and you're like Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool as shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Puts a lot of mashed potatoes in own mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, that sounds about right. And you pick up bits and pieces, um, as someone who's traveled around a lot and been on ships, you you understand how most ships work, but the idea of, like, not only a ship that's run by a motor, like, there are motors the mechanical... in the world. The mechanical aspects of this yeah. just over your head gone. <laughs> yeah. You'll, like, catch a word and you'll be, like, holding on to, I understand this. <laughs> and then it's just, like... He throws out five more that you don't, and you're like, oh, oh. I no longer understand this. Cannot you, you compute there, anymore. <laughs> you had me, buddy. You had me. And then you lost me. <laughs> yeah. Also, um... Rizlan has not reappeared above deck. Reverend <laughs> <laughs> uh, gets concerned after a while and goes to find him. He's asleep. <laughs> He wakes up for dinner. <laughs> A fair response. Over dinner, she's like, "You good? Hmm? You are you good? Why would I not be? You've been asleep all day. I woke up at the ass crack of dawn, darling. Mmm, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Reverend's kind of looks at her food and just whispers, "Why didn't I sleep all day?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is the next day. <laughs> this is- it's been one night. This is an explain- he didn't wake up at the ass crack of dawn today. Mm. She still wants to know why she didn't sleep till the ass crack of dawn. <laughs> or sleep- whatever, you know what I'm yeah, trying to I understand. understand. But yeah, that is, uh, that's it. He- he was asleep. Like, I imagine you were like, huh, where's- Rizla never came back up, so I can't gloat that I was right. And you go and look for him, and he's (laughs) fucking passed out in a bunk. (laughs) Great. Well, she'll find some time to gloat. Yeah. I mean, he's awake now. (laughs) So yeah, now she does the gloating. She, like, is looking at him very smugly. Like, I fucking told you. Yeah, after dinner, uh, you both go up on deck. And he admires the ship, looks out the now dark glass into the dark ocean, and is like, <laughs> ah, this is a cool thing. <laughs> cool. It's absolutely terrifying, but I'm not crazy, so... You know. I suppose. This is... I'm... She's gonna hold his hand. <laughs> One. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. this is, uh... Romantic. All Listen right, to these right. waves. <laughs> A romantic setting. Yeah. It's actually... It's... It's nice. Um, you know, the lighting is dim on the um, deck now that it's dark in the ocean. 
most of the lighting comes from outside the ship. There's actually exterior lights that sort of light out the hull. And um, upwards on the cabin, then there's a few, like, in set in the floor. But um, ah, everything, for the most part, is, like, during the day, it's the brightest because of the sun. And um, it's nice dim lighting, and... It's nice enough that it blocks out the terrifying reality of the darkness of the ocean deep before you. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> exactly what I want. Yeah. He holds your hand. Cute. Love it. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. She just wanted to be like, mm, look, it's underwater. I told and hold you. his hand, but she always And also to do hold that. his hand. Yeah. That's true. She does always want to do that. All right. Nor roll one more constitution check for me. Let my boy live. I mean, he's eating a meal now. Ah. Uh. Mm. Oof. Oh, no. Shocker. Oh, no, no. The bucket. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, you are okay. <laughs> Oof. Barf. You barely don't bark. <laughs> Let me tell you this, you barely make that benchmark. Um, you were feeling alright, and you still don't feel... Like, you You know you could feel worse. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever felt motion sickness like this before. Probably not, because you've never been, I don't think, in a this type of like motorized vehicle ever. Um, and after you eat, and you're like, I'm good now, I think. I think I can handle- Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> bucket, my friend. Bucket, bucket, bucket me. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you spend the night, you, you get sleep, but it's not great. And you spend the night clutching that bucket like a dear <laughs> teddy bear. <laughs> All right. So, um, Geo tells you that you are going to be on this boat for about three weeks. Oh. Um, and he says, because he does notice that um, Nora is not doing great. He says, if your sickness doesn't go away by the end of the week, we can go back to being, like, above the water, if that helps at all, or, like, you know, helping me want to focus on, like, hey, you don't barf out your guts for the next three weeks. <laughs> and, um, so he gives you that option, and he says, at the end of the three weeks, you'll be close enough to Seiko that you'll be above water again, and, um, probably take another couple of days before you dock. Okay. So, for the next three weeks, what would you like to do? Mm. Mr. Reed's book stays closer to, like, above deck. <laughs> Mine's where he goes this time. But still just reads. And, again, he, he still sort of stays up slightly later reading it, or just overall being... Slightly more antsy. Uh, and oh, his helping around the real fast. And of course, he like helps around the ship wherever need be. Of yeah. course, there it is. Uh, history. Click. Click. Okay. Thank nice. you. <laughs> yeah. So. Um... You you keep reading the encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. The encyclopedia. There we go. <laughs> you got there in the end. And um, you learn a bit more about uh, Seco. A lot of it is not really relevant to you. Uh, it is an encyclopedia, so mm -hmm. a large amount of it is history. And you're like, cool, cool, cool. Just flip through these pages. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, there's some that interest you, and you're like, okay, I'll I'll read about this. But then like. 
you re you usually realize about halfway through, like I'm not gonna need to know this. Cool, flip. <laughs> yeah. Um, there is one fact that strikes you, um, and you learn through the three weeks. This is I'm just as a brief overview for the entire mm -hmm. three weeks, and we'll make you roll another history check, and we'll say um, you're done with the book after this. Yay. You learn that the um, the emperor of Seko has been in power for 500 years. Oh shit! What? Oh, mm. damn! So, did, did you just pour Worm? one? Anyway. Okay. Yeah, um, and that strikes you as like, oh, that's a long time. For yeah. someone who is not, they don't seem to be, um, elven or any of the longer living races. In fact, they seem to be human in mm. all of the pictures you mm. see. Mm. And most of the information on them isn't really, um, concrete. You do get a name, Bedwin. Emperor Bedwin. Okay. And, uh, on the pictures themselves, I can't remember if we established, but it is, like, not in color. It's not that... Yeah, they're all, it's... um, they're... Is it? They're not in color, they're all, uh... Like a sepia, grayscale -ish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just wanted to check. Just, like, if there's anything color-wise wrong, but you can't really tell in those photos. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I would like to learn how to use a sword and also <laughs> kiss my boyfriend a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God, you guys go hiding in the back of the sh- huh. Anyway. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> These um, are my requests. Well, <laughs> um, Noah, that is involving you. So yeah, uh, any time she would come to him uh, for oh, there's blood anything, running she... down my foot. Oh, oh. no, mm. this is good. You That's didn't fine. check that out? No, we could continue. Busy? <laughs> Are we I'm good? handling it. Just go. Okay. okay. I'm handling it. It's under control. Okay. That okay. Um <laughs> So yeah, he he will teach her and then throughout the the weeks he's basically just going to hang out and uh he's going to practice his instruments in his room a little bit but he's not going to do a whole lot other than teaching reverence and everything um mm -hmm. can both of you roll a d20 with your proficiency bonuses please what is my Ooh, i like my proficiency bonus Yeah. Well, right. she tried. She's, she's out here doing her best. Did I get an eleven on the boyfriend kissing though? Oh man! Oh hmm. man! It had to come along now. All right. So no sword. So, um. <laughs> Ooh. You will be trying to teach you how to do sword fighting on a bow what? Well, yeah, okay. It's, it's a boat. It's, it's a boat. You both, um... You both come up on top of the deck to practice sword you fighting. This boat. She is gonna kill you. Uh, pretty often. Like, once every day or every couple of days, depending on, like, you know, what you're doing that day. And, um... At this point, after a while, you know, others come and, like, watch you, like, oh, it's time to watch them fight with swords. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, Reverence, you 
you don't you definitely don't um get any amount of you don't get better <laughs> uh huh you the sword Story is my fucking life the sword is unwieldy and um you don't even use the S9. Um, God, no, you can't hit anything without the yeah, thing. Yeah, you can't use, you can't hit anything with it, so you don't mm -hmm. fucking use it. Uh, you use just like a regular long sword that uh, I guess no one lends you. <laughs> yeah. So there's one somewhere. There's someone has a spare long sword, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, you just you can't get a good like grasp on how to use it very well. Um, Noah. Uh huh. You try and teach reverence to the best of your abilities. <laughs> turns out your ability is not too fucking good. It turns out you don't know how to use a longsword. <laughs> <laughs> and, um. I'm gonna actually have to take that proficiency away from you. Oh my oh, god! Fuck. Oh my god! Oh my god! So, yeah, take that off Consequences. your Consequences. You just put minus long sword. You minus spend long 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 sword. Sword. You spend three weeks trying, <laughs> and you know it's been a while since you've you've used a long sword, I guess. And just every time you pick it up, it just doesn't seem to go well. You you drop it like every day, and uh, it doesn't fit well in your hand. It's kind of rubs awkwardly and you get a weird callus and kind of a blister and um you almost cut off like your finger one <laughs> and at that point you just kind of like you drop the sword and look at it for a moment and you're... Done who today? am I <laughs> where did I the point where you... go wrong, wrong in life that's the point where you you stop trying to teach reference <laughs> yeah. Cause you cannot use a long sword anymore, my man. <laughs> reverence is just through the process of this, reverence is like, I thought you said you knew how to use this. And you know I thought I did too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well um, But Apparently not anymore. I fucking guess so, huh? Yeah. Matt, who is a longsword user, also <laughs> on this ship, watches these every day with delight. Uh, yeah. It's and like every time... see him smile. Like, at first, it's just, um, like, a, a, I'm bored, and, you know, everyone else is like, oh, let's watch this these two fight for, like, like an hour or two. And, you know, he... he... Air quotes around fight. Big spar. They can't fucking. No, it's. They're just like waving swords at each other. Yeah. <laughs> and dropping them a lot and narrowly avoiding getting pierced in the foot hoof. Yeah. <laughs> um. And at first, it's just kind of like a mild amusement at this, like. <laughs> just in the background. <laughs> <laughs> At this like this terrible montage of no skill, <laughs> and then at some point it becomes a very genuine amusement of oh my god, neither of them can use long swords because <laughs> at first he was under the impression that Noah could, yeah, <laughs> and god, so was so Noah. <laughs> Everyone was under the under the impression that Noah knew how to use a long sword, and everyone's been let down. And um, towards the end. He's he's having so much fun watching you. He starts like giving both of you pointers. Like, <laughs> okay, now no 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 no. You hold the sword like this, buddy. Don't drop it on your foot again. Oh my god. <laughs> and like he kind of he kind of both helps you understand a little. And like, you know how to hold the sword now. <laughs> but it's not. It's definitely not fighting, and it's definitely like not usable. <laughs> I think the second Matt starts, uh, helping in any way, shape, or form, Reverence just fucking- <laughs> Uh, Reverence just fucking is like, can you teach me instead of him? Cause he, uh, turns out he doesn't- he can't teach shit! <laughs> and she screams that while looking at Noah. Ma uh, Matt grins at you and looks at Noah and says, 
<laughs> Would you both like some lessons? <laughs> oh, shit. Burgess is like, please help me. I just want to use a sword. Oh my god. I can teach you how to use a sword. Thank you. However, not on this trip, because you no. used your three weeks. No, this is- that's done. Yeah. That ship has sailed. Uh-huh. <laughs> for three weeks. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Roll to kiss your boyfriend, I guess? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> roll I don't charisma? want to roll that on this! What do I roll? Just a d20, babe. I'm so scared! I lost the proficiency, you're fucking good. <laughs> What if she loses a boyfriend? Oh no! Oh, no. oh thank god. You smack him in the face. No, and no. you break up with him. <laughs> Give her an advantage so she doesn't nat one. No, no she's good. No, no. Um, I mean, yeah, you fucking kiss him, I guess. <laughs> nice. Is it good? Good it's, kisses? It's a good kiss. You did, yeah. you did good on this one. <laughs> Hell yeah. So yeah, uh, anyone else? Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else can Nora do without trying to puke? Um, I'll say you stabilize over, like, the first week. Like, you get good enough that you don't feel pukey anymore and you, you can keep food down. Like, it, it's never... It's never... Like, oh, I'm I'm a hundred percent fine with being on a boat now. But it's also like I'm okay. <laughs> I've been on a boat for a week, so I'm kinda used to it. I could be better. <laughs> but yeah, Nora is okay. God, finally. Mm. So I don't know what to do. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Just nervously to the kazoo. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, he did got that. Was it a French horn or was it a trumpet? It was um, a weird horn. It was a weird right? horn. Weird, yeah. It was a weird, like tiny French horn. It was a yeah. tiny weird horn. He's gonna play the shit out of that. Uh, roll a performance. Oh no. <laughs> Come on! You can do it, I believe in you. I want Reverence to be present. <laughs> okay. For this performance. Reverence is like, oh shit, you're gonna play music? Hell yeah! Oh. That's, <laughs> That's a plus oh. nine. Oh. I'm really. <gasps> oh my god! Is so it's curse! I'm really, really happy. <laughs> I'm not. Oh no. Nah, you played that way too good! Yeah, I would play that way too good. <laughs> <laughs> Too good. Oh, I was almost on, there. Um. Let me play. <laughs> now we're gonna That's better. <laughs> so, um, Nor, you are. Oh, no. <laughs> you're below deck. I'll say probably like in your own quarters. Your own quarters. You all sort of share bunks. So, in the quarters. <laughs> And, um, you're like, I think I'll play that weird horn that old lady gave me. <laughs> and, um, you know, Reverence is like, oh shit, you gonna play music for the first time? No, not for the first time, but, you know, for the first time on your own leisure. <laughs> or just and us going, play a thing! Anyway. Probably she was just already in the quarters, and yeah. I was like, I'm gonna do some music things, and Reverence's like, oh shit, okay. Yeah, a couple um, a few people are watching oh, you, and um, you're like, okay, uh, I don't love this, but you know, this is a new instrument. I don't love this, but you know, I'm, I can play music, so I guess I'll try. And um, you put the horn to your lips, and you play one note <laughs> before it falls to pieces. Oh, oh no! no! Oh no! no. It doesn't... <laughs> the pieces aren't broken, like, nothing is like, oh, the metal's rusted through and now it's, like, shattered to pieces. It's it's kind of just falling apart, and, um, 
You try and put it back together, and the pieces just don't seem to fit right. <laughs> so yeah, uh, buy weird horn. <laughs> For now, weird horn pieces. Ah! Literally, rest in pieces. <laughs> that was me finding the weird horn again. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> peace says. Fucking shithead. <laughs> Reverence oh looks God. genuinely upset. She's like, oh no. <laughs> Your horn. Oh no. What the fuck just like... happened? Can I, like, try to fix it or no? You can. Um, roll. Oh. <laughs> can I You're gonna, you can... Everyone's scared to roll. <laughs> we have rolled too many ones. What do you want me to roll? I um, want to help. Let me help. Roll a survival. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Can I help? Um, you, with advantage. Okay. Roll with advantage. Because I'm Reverence helping. is here, Over. like touching all the pieces <laughs> and going, "I'm helping." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait. I roll. Yes, yeah. you. Can or have my proficiency bonus real quick in survival? No. Mm. Shit. But it's plus six. Nope. Mm -mm. It's not how it works. Yeah. You, um, but you gave him advantage. That's the important thing. So you you manage to put a couple of pieces together, and you get like it's less like a pile of pieces, and now uh, here's like five pieces. So that's better, but you can't put it all the way back together yet. That old lady just screw me over. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that that one screwed you over, but that's also true. But then the universe. Sorry, wise. Ah, damn. The that one screw me over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gentle fourth wall breaking here at Dunham Gold Tracks. <laughs> this nine. It's nine. It's nine. nine. Yeah. God, I really like the way you described Reverence helping. Reverence is just putting her hands on everything and saying, I'm helping. <laughs> that's, that's what she fucking did. She's just touching all the pieces and looking at them and kind of like taking two, in, one in each hand and like touching them to each other. <laughs> She's like, I'm good at puzzles. She's just I'm helping. <laughs> God. Yeah. When we get to Seiko, maybe we can get you better instruments. <laughs> and then go back to Zendelo and have him enchant one. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> God. <sighs> so yeah. Um, anyone else? Oops. I think Noah, you said you wanted to do something, but I don't... I think we kind he of... He was also just going to kind of play around his instruments he got from the old lady. And... Yeah. Roll a performance check. Have fun, fucker. Have fun. Reverend present for this as well. I like to believe if Mary is in a bit of a corner seeing all this, is just like, oh no. He's still reading a little oh, bit. Oh man. God. Well, it's not a gnat. It's not a gnat, but it's One. still pretty bad. So, um, you. You spend some time and sort of try and tune the like the instruments, and it doesn't. They're they're very old and shitty, is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like you're touching them, and you're like, man, I sure paid a lot for these old shitty yeah. instruments. Why did <laughs> I do that? And you believed in the old lady. <laughs> you can only tune, like, one string on each. <laughs> and then the other ones, they just, like, between you either get distracted or you just... It, it, it doesn't seem to quite hit the note right. It's and not um, good, Yeah, it's just not, it's not ha happening. And, um... <laughs> Reverence and Merit, you get to listen and no one just go... Tink, tink. Nope. 
Uh, yeah, nope. no. Ding, ding, After ding, this nope. happens for a minute, Reverence just fucking gets up and leaves, and she's like, "My boyfriend plays music. Bye." <laughs> 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 yeah. My boyfriend's in a band. Um. <laughs> So yeah, she's gone. Uh, she does not stay for this. At the end, I think you're just kind of irritated with all of the instruments, and you just kind of play a very out of tune song, and it's not good. <laughs> it's just very it's like bad. a very sad, depressing. <laughs> you're just like staring into the distance and strumming, and it's not good, and you know it. This is Wait, really relatable though, because I keep hold trying on. to tune my I... ukulele. I'm back. My my headset oh. kind of cut out there for a second. Oh. Dude, You're playing a very and... sad, un out of tune song. You discover, oh. <laughs> you discover bluegrass. Actually, is this guitar out of tune? Hold up. Oh. No, it's <laughs> the in answer tune. Is yes. No, it's in Damn. tune. Damn, it? it was out of yeah. tune a couple days ago. My ukulele is probably out of tune. You want me to go get it? <laughs> Play the sad up. song, sir. I, this. I mean, I, I'll have to get up and get it. You offered. I could just untune this Here fucking guitar. Goodbye. I'm just. Nope, I'm getting the ukulele. Hold on. Wait. Oh. Yeah. This is what it sounds like for like three hours as he tunes. Do <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want help with tuning? Oh, oh no. That guitar screams. <laughs> Mom, my guitar gently screams. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. Help me, Buster. Now I did tune this earlier today, so I don't. Nope, that's in tune. Ish. Ooh. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. So yeah, now this guitar is fucked. <laughs> Fun. But instruments. Yeah. Instruments. <laughs> Throughout the process of that, where it's like, maybe in Seco we can find a better music <laughs> shop, better instruments. Yes, you are probably right. Me and Nora got these instruments from this little old lady in town. That. Honestly, way overpriced these instruments. Now that I think about it, but I just <laughs> took it. So well, yeah. The upside you paid for her food, I imagine. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> next, next time you go looking, I'll I'll help you try to look for a proper shop. Oh, yes. Next... Reverence in the distance. Oh, that's a day! Just hear some the bed! Yes. Like, Merit, like, plucks up one of the strings and then cringes when it's out of tune, and he just sort of frowns. It's <laughs> um, no the Yep, that's it. <laughs> God. But yeah, so... Yeah. Gonna have to do that. Go and have a fun adventure. We shall. God, if only this had happened like three days ago when I tuned my before I tuned my ukulele for the first time in a year. Shit. <laughs> God, yeah. So instruments played, unfortunately. <laughs> Much to everyone's Put displeasure. On play. Instruments broken. Yeah. <laughs> Next story. Instrument machine broke. How's Pen? Would Pen like to do anything? Aside from cast water breathing, apparently. Uh, Pen's gonna ask Rizlon for help with their infernal lessons. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um... Rizlon seems to have this fascination with being underwater. So he's on deck almost all the time. Beautiful. Yeah. And, um, sometimes he's playing music, sometimes he's just watching the water. He doesn't really do much. Um, so it's easy to find him. And, um, you ask him, you know, can you help me? And he's like, yeah, of course. <laughs> um, roll... Hold on, let me 
me look at his sheet, and we'll both roll. <laughs> if Reverence was ever around, she would help. Would That's she? So because this, would she? Cause... this is the reason <laughs> to spy on you. <laughs> I know, but Reverence likes Pen a lot. So if Pen just kind of showed up and was like, hey, teach me Infernal, Reverence would be like, mm, That's okay. beautiful. I'm touched. Or, actually, it's like, uh, Pen shows up to, and to Rizlan specifically, it's like, hey, demon talk. And Reverence is just like, you know, I speak that fluently. I could, like, I could also help. It's my first language. Pen would accept assistance. <laughs> um, so I guess Pen roll is advantage, and Rizlon will also roll, since Reverence is helping. Um, roll for, roll an intelligence check. Come on, you're the smartest one here. God, that's so sad. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my god! Rizal Thanks, Rizal Reverence. Rizal is doing the plus one as well. Oh. Hmm. So I don't know what it is. I think it might legitimately be the Jack of Trades. Because isn't it uh, half your proficiency rounded down? Or something? I... I mean... Nor's is not checked is the thing. Yeah. And Rizlon's oh. is. I don't know what that is then. Yeah. Bards, Bards are special. special. Bards are just a little fucked, so uh, that's cool. Also, I don't think it adds it. I think it's just like an automatically in the number. Is but it? I might be wrong mm -hmm. about that. Might have changed with the new update, so whatever. Because that is the jack of all trades there. Alright, um... You rolled two thirteens. Uh huh. <laughs> mm hmm. Sure did. Um. Okay. So you spend. You come up every day, and um. Rizlan sits down with you and. Helps you out. Um. He starts with the written part of the language because it's just. It's easier to read it than to speak it. Um. And he helps you, like, vocalize, like, the alphabet and that sort of thing. And you... You learn a good amount. You it, Not all of it, like, sticks deep in. Like, you learn the alphabet. Good. You are good on that. Um, your name, his name... Like, you can say names pretty well. Nice. <laughs> there's, a cute, there's a few, um, like, s very small words that you can say in Infernal. Like, sea. <laughs> like, the ocean. And, like sky and all of these like really simple small words that you can say um and you learn a few more complex ones but um they don't stick as well so i'll say you only learn them for about three weeks before you're going to forget <laughs> nice god i think the way reverence air quotes helps is she's just fucking talking in infernal a lot <laughs> It's very Reverence confusing. in Infernal. I'm helping. <laughs> Just slowly touching both Pen and Rizlan. I'm helping. I'm helping. <laughs> Just patting both their heads. But yeah, she just fucking talks to Pen in Infernal a lot, and Pen's probably just like, uh. <laughs> hey, Pen in is... Infernal. Yes. Well, well. <laughs> I'm helping. Yes. <laughs> Just imagine a whole conversation. But it's just Pen going, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, you you learn a little bit of Infernal. They'll get there someday. You can decipher letters, kind of. <laughs> I mean, on the bright side, if you know the alphabet, you can fucking read Reverence's journal now. I mean, that's not how languages um, work. That's not how languages work. You definitely mm. can't read. <laughs> You're definitely right, and I... <laughs> it's... I'm very tired. I mean, that's why I said decipher. It would take a little bit. Not including if, like... It... Ugh. Languages are weird. Let's not even start. <laughs> yeah. You are yeah. pretty close-ish to being able to read Reverence's journal. 
No. One day. <laughs> One day. I want to say uh, Infernal's structure is very different than common. Mm -hmm. It's uh, yeah. it's a very different language is the thing that's grown entirely separate what? from like all of humanity and like humanoids <laughs> and creatures it's not of this human? mortal realm. <laughs> yeah, all right. Never mind. You're fucked. <laughs> so like you're like maybe I can read a little bit of Infernal and Rizlan's like okay let's what? okay and he like writes a sentence and you're like. Ah, what? What, what is was, that symbol? <laughs> what I was thinking, but I wasn't going to get into, is like in Japanese, for example, basic letters and symbols change depending on what's next to them. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like that. This yeah, is infernal complicated. Yeah. <laughs> Reverend's very impressed that uh, Rizlon speaks it, and who else speaks it? Margaret? Margaret, and I mean, obviously Stella. Well, but yeah, yeah, Stella just knows it. And Probably Matt, too, yeah. Probably and Matt knows it. He also just knows it. That's not impressive. <laughs> you don't know who else on the ship knows it. Well, they're impressive if they know it. <laughs> <laughs> the, people, the ones who know it, just because they're tieflings, don't count. They just know it, but like learning it, if it's really complicated, that's cool. Like people who know Japanese. I've been... <laughs> Grew up learning Japanese. I'm like, wow, neat. <laughs> neat. All right. Wish I could be like that. <sighs> so uh, yeah, you learn the alphabet. <laughs> Sweet. In small words. Um. Anything else? Mm, not especially. Not, not for merit anyway. Because it's usual on a ship of like helping and then of course treating the thing, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm losing my voice a little bit. My oh, throat. No. I can... oh. So maybe you should drink some hot tea and we should stop. I might stop it soon. Okay. So that's just a little bit of a warning, even though I don't want to. My I voice like some is going. warm le lemon water. Mm, don't <laughs> got that, but we'll see. I mean, there's water. Heat up some water. Just put mm. it in a mug. Just drink some really hot sink water. It's no, just oh, hot. Hot. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. Warm sink water. No. Anyway, um, so yeah, three weeks, uh, ends, and, um, more or less, at the end of the three weeks, uh, this ship re-unsubmerges? Rises? Emerges. <laughs> emerges. <laughs> <laughs> the ship emerges from the water. <laughs> Thank you, KR. <laughs> it was there. <laughs> anyway. The ship emerges and, um... Nor and Rizlan get to see, like, the ship turn back into a normal ship for the first time. And it, it, it transforms in the daytime instead of in the middle of the night this time. And it's impressive. And... Still terrifying. <laughs> to the rest of you who... I have witnessed this before. It's still like, oh god, that was the only thing keeping us from being crushed by the ocean. <laughs> and um, as you rise above the surface of the water, you still can't see the land immediately. But you know, you you trust them enough to be like, we're probably close. And um, after a day or two, you. No, actually, we'll say the next day, um, when you wake up and come back on top of the, on, on deck, you can see Seko from, on the horizon. And, um, the first thing that you notice when you see this is this line of glittering metallic on the sh coast. Oh, shit. And it's not just, um, like, in one spot. It's 
it goes from where you're headed towards as far as you can see the land. Just straight up shiny metal, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Merit's still and concerned. <laughs> Remit just goes, haha, what? Um, as the day goes on, you get closer to the land, and um, I imagine Geo has a pair of binoculars, and he shares them with you. And each of you can take a turn or whatever you wish, and look through the binoculars to see the coastline. And it's still, it's still distant, but... Um, what you can see is that this reflective, um, shiny metallic from the distance is actually the coating on the top of the domes. And um, what you are seeing is, like, the city-states that are connected by the tunnels. And they are massive. Um, if you thought Minalta was big, they are- each and every single one of them is easily larger. Oh. Shit. And, um... <laughs> There are all these perfect domed roofs, and all of them perfect circles that just seem to be coated with um, a gold-like substance that reflects the sun off of them. And um, you can't really see movement beyond... Um, there's a couple of ships around each of the domes, and on the sea, like, when you look around, but there's not... You can't see movement within the domes, given the distance, and, like, there's this protective, almost, wall around them. Essentially, um, they're this cylinder, lar giant cylinder, and there's, um, kind of a half wall around the cylinder with columns going all the way up to the top, and then on the top of the cylinder is a large, like, gold dome. So you can't see, um into the city, but there is, like, a large air slit all around it that lets, um, wind and, like, fresh air pass through the dome. Along with, like, light. What the fuck? Reverence is fascinated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Merit has Whoa, to- Whoa, that's cool as shit! Fair. But then it's also like, what is this? Huh. Is it just... That's... That's how it's supposed to be? Okay! Sure! Yeah, Reverence probably asked Rizlon, like, Hey, what the fuck is that? New map, new map, new map! New map. New Welcome map. to a new continent. <gasps> oh. It looks uh. hot in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, no shit! I will say... Uh... This is where you are. Where? Oh, shit. Where? where? This. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh! Okay. Did you just make a... Yeah, you, there's just a little, little dot there. Boop, 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 boop. We are very small! Oh, yes. Just a, just a little guy. Oh my gosh. Wait, oh my god, there's right a... There. Oh! Yeah. Oh! That this us. makes sense, because... Ooh. Continents are very large, but That's also true. my brain can't deal with it. I, I mean, same. Oh my That's one God. of the problems I'm having, like, with my campaign is like, how big is things? Yeah. Big things is big. Big. Things is big. Turns uh, out. Yeah. Okay, so. Whew. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're totally gonna find your dad. And um, <laughs> what you can see basically is from this coastline to here. And civilization starts about here. Woo! Okay. Alright. This is fine. Merit's current mood. This, this is fine. This, this is all fine. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> this is fine. Totally gonna find dad. <laughs> Yeah! No, that's the moon! That's the moon of the night, lads. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was low-key hunting him over the course of the <laughs> trip, among other things, and then seeing this, and he's just like... 
Oh, Queen's alive. What have I done? <laughs> Let me give you a bit of a reference for how large the things are. Oh, God. Please don't. <laughs> the domes. That's the wrong button. That's a square. <laughs> no squares. Specifically not a square. Kind the of circle? the opposite yes. of a square. Not that big. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Huh. Mm. I mean, we're just little specks on that speck of a ship, so that's pretty yeah. fucking big. Yeah. These are the only ones bigger you than can Minolta. see. Yes. Pence terrified. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. The rosewoods are just like a small subsection of Tano. This is much bigger. <laughs> Maybe oh, it's yeah. having a crisis. <laughs> What's this? Things are bigger? <laughs> There's a whole world out here? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out things is big. <laughs> Reverend's also probably freaked out by this a little bit. And, um, you are also headed towards this one. Okay. Yeah. What's up, you little... <laughs> little little dude sitting on the wiener? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Well, I, I guess we're done game. with the ED now. <laughs> uh, soup begins. Reverend's we forcibly go. removed from the campaign. <laughs> Reverence is pushed overboard and no one missed her. Goodbye. <laughs> Ouch. Reverence whom? Cruel, but fair. I guess. All right. Um, and uh, as you as you all sort of gawk at this shoreline and like realizing like oh shit this is a huge place and new and scary um yeah like as as we like pass around the binoculars you see like brief wonder and then it gradually goes into fear and then like uh worry on Merritt's face <laughs> and then he passes it and he just sort of leans on the railing of the ship considering his life choices <laughs> Yeah. Um, Noah sneaks up behind Merritt. <laughs> it kind of embraces him a little bit. This is gay. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of pats him on the head and says, It's going to be okay. We'll that's, be fine. That's kind of gay, is the thing. Kind of gay, it's fine. Merritt <laughs> just sort of sighs, sort of. <laughs> Sinks back to, you know, to know his race casually. It's just like, yeah, I just sort of, I don't know what I expected, but it it was never exactly this. Well, didn't expect it to be so big. No. <laughs> yes, it's. This is gonna be quite a search, but we'll be fine. We'll make it. <laughs> Reverence in the distance. Yeah. <laughs> it's a this date. is a date. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So yeah. Um, just we'll leave it off there. Sits and is comforted. <laughs> everyone is taking in the side of Seko. Because uh, my voice is going, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you gotta go. Please but we're here now. drink something soothing. Eat a cough drop. Or several. Ah. <laughs> Eat a whole bag of cough drops. Don't do that. No, that one's no. not... Uh... Don't do that one. That's not great. <sighs> Eat I was gonna say something, and hot... you've definitely no, derailed me entirely. I don't remember what it is. <laughs> I was about to say hot pockets for some reason. <laughs> hot pockets. <laughs> I'll eat a fucking hot pocket. I'll eat a hot pocket. I'll eat about three of them. I'm sorry for derailing you. It's fine. I'll probably think of it later. Whatever. We did it. We made it to Seco. So I'm so proud. 
We're here. I'm scared. Oh, I've remembered it. So, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but, uh, things are gonna get harder now. Oh! Yeah. I don't want things to get harder. There's permanent consequences. I've... I've been purposely kind of easing you guys in to D&D for the past year. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, things it's time to get a little more real. <laughs> Turns out that one's kind of bad. That one's are, hey, there's consequences a little bit. Like, now you can't use swords. <laughs> <laughs> now you don't know swords. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I that whole realization hit me like a rock when you didn't say you were joking. <laughs> yeah. And you were like, no, you gotta actually take that away off of your proficiencies. I'm like, oh. Would you're not serious. 20 double proficiency, though. <laughs> yeah, this, um. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been something. It, you would have gotten something, I will tell you that. There's no more really. A middle ground with critical roles. This actually did start back on the hunt, and Pen very almost died, but then rolled a twenty. Yeah, that's yeah. terrifying. I'm yeah, very Pen's scared. life was very much in danger. I'm we don't talk very, about very this. Scared. I'm scared of rolling things. Yeah. No more dice. You need to be tread very lightly. I was scared I was gonna nat one kissing my boyfriend, and he was gonna break up with me. I mean, hmm. I wouldn't probably do that because it's kind of a joke roll. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> but yeah. So, like, these consequences, can I still, at some point, like, relearn the short sword after God knows how long? The long sword? Yeah, or the long sword, yeah. Um,. Whatever sword. Whatever you sword. Could relearn the longsword proficiency. You would have to be taught it, and it would be just as long as anyone who doesn't know it at all. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. Although I imagine yeah. that's not entirely unreasonable. Noah, while he might have learned all of them at one point, he's been sticking with just like a few yeah. like hand crossbows. So, so, like, I could understand, but that. Is is also harsh. Although, <laughs> given his other weapon of choice was the long sword. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> like, his melee weapon would have been long sword if it wasn't his claws. So, that's fun. Yep. <laughs> it's been a real long time since it... I'm scared of Dungeons and Dragons. Scared of Dungeons and Dragons now. <laughs> I'm not having a fun time anymore. <laughs> you took the fun away, Delta. I mean, there will be like There'll really, be fun. There'll be good fun. You just gotta do the rolls good. Mm. Oh yeah, you know, just Which counting pretty, the randomizer. Uh, it was a it was a curse night tonight, I won't lie. There was an an unbelievable amount of natural ones. I don't know if y'all saw where I typed, but I rolled one of my physical dice and got a nat 20, and then a nat 1. <laughs> so, oh, no. let's see here. I think it was just That's a night. That's a 7. Very bad right. night. Gonna stop. So, yeah. Um, equally, there will be, like, good rewards if you roll a d20 on something. Like, you might gain a proficiency. But... <laughs> <laughs> You might gain an ability to read a language, like, serious uh, things, but, you know, it's the circumstances and whatever. Double boyfriends. Two boyfriends. <laughs> Riz on like an amoeba doubles. <laughs> oh, no. A worm? <laughs> oh, I didn't know oh. you could do that. Neither did I! <laughs> 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 